The, uh, the day we're living in, uh, we have to follow the truth, no matter where the truth takes us. Now, I believe the Bible is the truth, absolutely. And that, but it has to go in a straight line uh, from Genesis to Revelation, and uh, you have to include everything. And uh, it's all, it's all going to be fulfilled in God's time. And uh, so anything that we believe traditionally, we have to keep testing and uh, see if it really lines up with Scripture. And if it lines up with Scripture, we can't be so stubborn that we can't, if we can't change, if we find out the Scripture reveals something else. And now we've got science, and science is becoming pretty spiritual, in my opinion, because their science is, is leading them to the truth. But the science is also going to realign uh, the believers, I think, too, because when science becomes totally revealed and truthful, and when scriptures become totally revealed and truthful, uh, you know, that we don't have any any uh, doctrines, but just the truth, we're, all, we're going to be in agreement. Now, the title of this, uh, and this is going to be an, artic an article that's going to shock a lot of people, I think, uh, but the DNA research confirms that modern Khazarian Jews, these are the Khazars, are not the descendants of ancient Israel of the Israelites or the seed of Abraham. Okay, now you're going to be surprised at how many of the people that call themselves Jews are not Jews. They're fake Jews. They're Khazarians. First, let me, uh, when uh, you see Ashkenazic Jews sharing high similarity to Romanians and Hungarians, this is because both of these populations were offshoots of the, of the Khazars. Um, they were both founded by, by uh, these members of the Kafkazos who ruled uh, this area of uh, north of the Black Sea where we have South Russia nowadays, uh, between the 7th and uh, 13th centuries. A uh, very powerful empire, they converted to Judaism in the 8th century uh, and they sent offshoots to, to Eastern Europe. Um, and we still some some uh, Ashkenazic Jews are mapped to this this region of Ukraine. They're not all mapped to to Ashkenaz. Most of them are, but some of them are mapped to Ukraine. And we can see very nicely some kind of migration routes uh, using GPS. I white. I white. Unseason. A Caucasian. Caucasian. I was told welcome home because I'm Jewish. Every single person who's Jewish that steps off the plane, especially for their first time in Israel, is told welcome home. Let's just sit with that for a second. This right here, this is my actual ancestry. I am 88% Ashkenazi Jewish, and none of my ancestors are from the Middle East. And this is an article by Tex Mars. And they, I'm going to give you a site here to click on to go to it. Uh, the forward is, is uh, courtesy of Keith Howell. And I'm going to read it, read it to you. Oh, it's going to take a while here. And the print's fairly small, but I'll read it right to you here. Uh, DNA research confirms that modern Khazarian Jews are not the descendants or of ancient Israelites or the seed of Abraham, March 8, 2013. And, uh, okay, this is websites given here to show you this. Uh, and here's a, you know, quote from scripture. I know the blasphemy of them which say, which say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan, Revelation 2, verse 9. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said unto thy seed, Why give the land? Genesis 12, 7. Who shall possess the land of Israel? Uh, Christian evangel evangelicals say that uh, it should be the descendants of Abraham. They point to the Old Testament and claim that God gave that this land forever to the descendants of Abraham. And I agree with that. That God demands they and they alone own the land. And that's absolutely true. 
So to the Christian evangelical, this means the Jews. Yes, it is the Jews who own the land, and it is their land forever. The Jews then, according to the Christian evangel evangelicals, are the descendants of Abraham, his seed. Now here's what DNA, DNA science confounds the common uh, wisdom. There is only one problem, and it is a huge one. Science proves those who call themselves Jews are not Jews. DNA science has confounded the Christian evangel evangelicals by proving conclusively that most of the people in the nation of Israel and in world Jewry are not the descendants of Abraham. Those living today who profess to be Jews are not the ancient Israelites, and they are not the seed of Abraham. In fact, new DNA research shows that the Palestinians actually have more Israelite blood than do the Jews. Uh, isn't that pretty pretty revealing? And I, I, I think that's absolutely true, and I've, I've suspected that. The nation of Israel today is populated with seven and a half million imposters. Now, that's pretty revealing. The Jews are not Jews, but are Khazarians. The newest DNA science finding is from Dr. Elon Elhaik, a Jew, and associates of the McCusick Nathan's Institute of Genetic Medicines, John Hopkins University School of Medicine, and research accepted December 5, 2012, and published in the Oxford University Press on behalf of the Society of Molecular Biology and Evolution. It was found that the Khazarian hypothesis is scientifically correct. The second question you asked was genetic drift. Genetic drift is when we have these um, mutations that are by chance, that are random, um, and they accumulate over time. Um, now, the more time passes, the more of these mutation, mutations accumulate. And if a tribe moves from one place to another, two things can happen. Um, they can maintain uh, marriage within that tribe, in which case they will preserve the original signature of the first tribe that they left and allows us to, to make connection between these two. The second thing, they can start mixing with the local environment, like almost always happens, and then they will for a while show a mixed signature. And then depends on the level of mixture, they will start moving toward the, 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 the hosting tribe. Um, but uh, if we're looking at the first strategy, uh, if they maintain marriage within the tribe, over a very, very long time, they will not be identical to the original tribe anymore because of this accumulation of random mutations that only happen in this tribe, but not in the original tribe. It happened in the original tribe too, but different random process. So they're not going to be identical. And over time, they're just going to be split. Now, the extension of these splits depends on how much time has passed. Um, and that's genetic drift. Now, in the populations that we're talking about, Ashkenazic Jews, that we're looking at thousand years, that's not enough time for random drift to create completely separate things. However, you mentioned it, and that's very good because it's a chance to refute another myth. Random drift has been used to explain why Ashkenazic Jews are different. When you compare them to the Palestinians, they don't look like Palestinians. When you compare them to English, they don't look like English. So they said, oh yeah, they, they because they married each other, random drift took its shot and created this, this, this unicorn. That's not true. They're just not being compared to the right populations where they came out. If you compare them to the population we mentioned, these uh, Southern Europeans, uh, Turkish populations, you will see much higher similarity. Genetic drift does not act so quickly. Are you familiar with the Khazar theory? There's a theory, it's widely accepted as anti-Semitic, that, that, that Ashkenazi Jews come from the Khazars and they don't, they're not Levantine. But it's, DNA it's, tests... It's not anti-Semitic, it's a question of fact. So uh, Shlomo San, for example, has argued that, I think probably exaggerated, but it's simply a question of fact. If my ancestors from the Ukraine have Khazar uh, roots, 
changes nothing. I'm Jewish. My grandfather was Jewish. Uh, uh, he, uh, my family happens to have a uh, story saying that we're descended from the Baal Shem Tov. Okay, that's part of the Same. culture. Doesn't matter what the DNA shows. It just doesn't matter! 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 Now, the New World Order is basically made up of the Khazarians, I think. And uh, so, when a college comes out and, and uh, says this type of stuff, you know, you, you'd, I would have thought maybe the colleges were con controlled by the New World Order. But uh, this, you know, we're just going to have to take a really a close look at this. What exactly is the Khazarian hypothesis simply stated? It holds that the Jewry genome is a mosaic of ancestries which rise primarily out of the Khazars. Jews are Khazars, not Israelites. The Jews of America, Europe, and Israel are descendants of not Father Abraham, but of King Bullen, King Bullen, B-U-L-A-N, and the people of ancient Khazaria. Khazaria was an amalgam of uh, Turkey clans who once lived in the Caucasus, southern Russia, in the early centuries CE. These Turkic peoples were pagans who converted to Judaism in the 8th century uh, as coverts. They called themselves Jews, but now, but none of their blood comes from Israel. None of it is the seed of Abraham. Later, the Jews, the Khazars, emigrated, settling in Russia, Hungary, Poland, Germany, elsewhere in Europe, as the Jews of the Khazars left the European nations in 1948 and settled in the fledgling new nation of Israel. Now, when we get this, we need to take a new look now at Ezekiel 38 and 39. And uh, be, now, you know, the, uh, the Gog and Magog are probably coming from southern Russia, the where the Khazars are, and they may be right in Israel right now today. The people of Israel are not the seed, nor the ancestors of Abraham. They call themselves Jews, but in fact, DNA science shows them to be Khazars. They say they are Jews, but they are not. There is no blood or family connection among the Jews, said Dr. Elbeik, Elhaik in an interview with uh, Hertz, Israel's daily newspaper. The various groups of Jews in the world today do not share a common genetic origin. The genome is largely Khazar. God did not give the land to the Khazarians. Thus, when Prime Minister Netanyahu says God gave this land to our Israelite, Israelite forefathers, he is absolutely wrong. There are no Israelite forefathers today in today's Jews. When today Jews say they should possess the land because they are Israelites and are the seed of Abraham, they are mistaken. The Jews are in Israel for one reason and one reason only, because the United States in 1948 recognized the nation of Israel and has since funded and protected the, the uh, protect that God's word has nothing to do with it. This was a political thing. This was uh, the, and the, the uh, movement to bring the people back, the, uh, uh, I can't think of the word I want to use, I'll think of it in a minute, but God's word, the Holy Bible prophesied that in the last days, imposters would erroneously and falsely claimed to be Jews. The impostors were, would, be by, uh, the Bible told us, persecute the enemies and especially the Christians, but God would have his revenge. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them 
to come and worship at my feet and, and know that I have loved thee, Revolution, Revelation 3.9. Do the Jews, the Khazars, not do exactly as our God prophesied? Do they not persecute the Palestinians and defile the land, claiming they are its original inhabitants? This even though the proven ancestors, the Khazars, never set foot in, Middle East, in the Middle East and are not the seed of Abraham. My thanks to Dr. Aaron Elhaik of John Hopkins University and his associates. You have performed the valuable, valuable service of your DNA research both to Christianity and world understanding. El Haik's research confirms earlier DNA studies, especially the work of Dr. Ariella Oppenheim of Hebrew University, who likewise found in 2001 that the Jews came from the Khazars rather than the Israelites. Dr. Oppenheim even found that some of the Palestinians have the chromosomes proving they are the are Kohen, related to ancient Israelites who worked in the synagogue and the temple. Who and where are the seed of Abraham? I ask my evangelical Christian friends, what will you do now? Will you heed to what God said in Revelation 2 and 3 and, and uh, about them which say they are Jews and, and are not? Will you accept modern DNA science as legitimate and valuable in proving the truth of God's word? Or will you, uh, dear Christian friend, walk right by, right on by, dismissing what both God and science have informed you? God said the seed of Abraham would be would inherit the land. Therefore, we must abs absolutely must, in light of the DNA evidence, ask ourselves, where and who are the seed of Abraham? We know that Netanyahu and the people who now inhabit Israel have no claim to the land. They're in, uh, they're in are loppers, false pretenders. But there is the true and legitimate chosen people of God. In fact, the scripture has, has it right, had it right all along. The answer is found in Galatians 3.29. Read it for yourself. And if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So if you belong to Jesus Christ our Lord, you are Abraham's seed, regardless of your physical race. You are overcomers, Revelation 21, 7 promises. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and this is the great secret that every true Christian knows. God is not a racist. The Great Commission extends to every race and eth eth ethnicity who, who love Jesus as his chosen people and who love the promise given to Abraham way back in Genesis. Know this, and you will forever be greatly be blessed that, dear friends, in the promise given Abraham and his seed. And anyway, there's a place to click on to go here. And uh, the uh, now here's uh, these are things that that uh, are below they might I think the main article probably is, is ended right there but let me read you a little bit more shockers uh, and this is kind of out in advertisements Rothschild has a dark secret plan for America and you're not going to like it he's all con uh, he he's also got conspirators working inside the US government and the White House these men and women have no love for America and its citizens. They constantly plot with Wall Street bankers to destroy nations, uh, our nation, and seek to forge in its place a tyrannical new world order. Unbelievable? Well, you won't think so after you read this book, and he's, he's got a book, Conspiracy of the Six uh, Polish Stars. I'm not I haven't read the book or anything. I'm just thinking. I just read that. And that's, uh, you know, he tells, says a lot right there. And I think what he says right there is true. And anyway, there's much more to this. And 
anyway, uh, you can click on this page and go, and, and it, he's got all kinds of illustrations and and, uh, and photos and so forth. So uh, just click below and go to it, and you decide and uh, and tell me what you think. Anyway, God bless all of you, and we're just all we're doing is seeking truth, but we have to go wherever the truth takes us. God bless you all. Today, it is prohibited, and you can Google this, to do a DNA test in Israel. Totally forbidden. Wrong. It's illegal. It's a crime. You'll be jailed if you do a DNA test in Israel. Why? Because they know the truth will come out. You come from Poland, you come from Ukraine, you came from Europe, you came from everywhere else. And they were the original Middle Eastern Jews who lived together with the Muslims and the Christians for centuries, for centuries. So what happened to a lot of the Jews? What's your thoughts? Please be respectful with your comments. Also, please click the like, click the notification bell, and subscribe to this channel. Listen, Genesis chapter 11, verse 10, explains the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a black man in Africa. If you repeat this back, Genesis 14, verse 13, Abraham steps on the scene. Being a descendant of Shem, which is a fact, means Abraham too was black. Abraham, born in the city of a black man, called Nimrod, grandson of Ham. Ham had four sons. One was named Cain. Here, let me do some explaining. Abraham, Isaac was the father. Jacob had 12 sons, for real. And these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10.